I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur, and in today's Tip Tuesday, I am sharing a super secret way for you to make a cheap and easy sample for your applique, and no one will know the difference. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture up here. Would you believe that that's not a t-shirt? Nope, not a t-shirt at all. In fact, that sample cost me only 50 cents because I got it on sale. This is my super secret way to make samples for applique shirts. So in the embroidery world, we kind of have a disadvantage because we are using applique fabrics with different textures and sometimes we use glitter vinyl and it's hard to mimic in something like Photoshop where other people who do use the Cricut or the heat press or the sublimation, they can do mock-ups to present a sample without having to waste a lot of money. They just do a mock-up of a flat lay. A mock-up, if you don't know what it is, it's just they'll have a flat lay of just like some props and maybe the shirt that they're gonna showcase. And then they'll import the picture of the design that they're gonna do onto the mock-up and then there you have a sample. Well, in the embroidery world, it's a little different. When you're doing an applique, there's different textures of thread, there's different colors, there's different fabrics, and there's no possible way to take, to take pictures of your fabrics and combine them in a time-efficient way. You might say, well, like, don't you believe in sample sales? Uh, let me tell you why. Not only do sample sales offer your products at a discounted rate for the same work that you're doing, and you can put disclaimers in your sample saying that you have full rights to um, the fabric choices and thread colors and that sort of thing. But what if you don't like the person's monogram who bought the sample? Or what if you actually find out you don't like that design? It wasn't digitized properly, that was your first time testing it. Or what if you figure out those fabrics look terrible together and I just wasted a sample and I don't even like what it looks like. Here is my solution. Okay. So this is the thick felt from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it's around 79 cents. They have two different types of textures. So there's a super thin one that's see-through and this one is super thick. Um, so I believe it's around 79 cents and sometimes it's on sale. So make sure you stock up. You can get it in so many different colors and it embroiders just like a shirt. So I just lay it on my machine like I normally would. Super fast, you don't have to worry about lining it up, you don't have to worry about um, placement, you just stick the felt on there and you do your sample. You have full control over the name, you have full control over all the colors, and you don't have to worry about shipping it to the customer, you don't have to worry about customer service, and you can keep the sample um, for reference for when you're doing the shirts. I like to keep a pile because when you're doing multiple appliques, you might forget which thread color you used, which fabric you used. Um, so this is a great reference point. So I just kept, keep mine either in little sleeve protectors or I keep mine by my machine. So this piece of felt, 79 cents plus obviously the fabric and time, um, sold 22 shirts. This piece of felt in one week. So. I would say that's a pretty good return on investment and I could do it at my leisure and didn't have to worry about getting it out to a customer. Now if you're worried about starting to get sales and um, it's a great way, some people love doing sample sales as a way to just get people to notice their business. For me personally, I only have one machine so my time on that machine is valuable and if you're not going to give me the price that I think the shirt deserves that I'm not going to put that shirt on my machine. Does that make sense? Um, I only have a certain amount of hours. I work because I'm a stay-at-home mom. So those hours on that machine are very, very precious. So if I can make this pretty much for free and not have to worry about lessening or cheapening my work, that's a win-win for everybody. And then I can play with the props. Say maybe my camera died or something happened. I can make sure I capture those pictures. And then, once I do sell a shirt, I always make sure to take a shirt of one of the shirts that somebody ordered and put that in my listing as well. So what you'll do is um, you'll embroider it on an applique and then I just kind of worked it to be kind of folded and I just folded it and I pinned it 
so it would look like a shirt. And as you can see in the picture, it looks just like a shirt, especially with the props. Let me show you another one. These two. I mean, look at the picture. Picture? And then here are the samples. I did, I used my props from Hobby Lobby, I used my background board that I made, and I used felt samples to test out applique designs because you might not like the design. It might be a new design and you kind of have to figure out how it stitches, how the digitizer works, um, and you want to test it before you waste a blank on something you've never tried before. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, you get to test it, make sure that the design works good, make sure you like the fabric combos, make sure you like the name. Another tip, I like to go to like the baby name directory or like figure out the popular baby names and um, kids names. And I like to use the most popular names out there right now just to keep it fresh and um, interesting and to change the names every now and then. So I don't know who Liam and Emma Kate are, but they were my samples. I hope this gives you inspiration so that way you don't feel like you have to do sample sales and lower the price of your work. To get sales, you don't have to. You can take great professional quality pictures and those pictures were taken on my phone. I don't have an iPhone, I just have a regular smartphone. You can really up-level your business without having to sell yourself short um, by selling your products for cheaper just to get a sample. So I hope this helps and thank you so much for watching Tip Tuesday. Make sure you hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.